Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do, I think, a flip cup. I'm going to use these three cups to fill and then I'm going to flip them and drag. I've seen a few artists do that and I think I learned it from a few of them. I'm trying to remember their name. I've seen The biggest one are the two girls from Australia that I seem to do it the most. Jilly Cube and Julie Cuts. Um, shout out to them. And I think I want to um, put a lot of white in it. They kind of call it a sandwich pour. Um, so I'm going to add silicone to the paint. These causes cells. Um, probably two drops per cup is enough. They say usually one drop per ounce. And I believe these are like five ounce cups. But I'm only going to do two drops. Um, the color today that I'm doing is copper. I don't know if the light is good right there. But this is copper. Excuse my dogs. I got three of them, three Yorkie Poos, and they're very active. So excuse that. That's copper by Liquitex. This is also Liquitex Gold. Then I have Liquitex, which is oxide, red oxide. This is like almost like a red copper. It's really pretty. Um, then the color, this is look at text. Um, blue, turquoise. Kind of think of the color. Really, this is one of my favorite colors actually. And then the wild card that I'll be using tonight, and I usually don't mess with this color, but I'm going to be brave and try it because I've seen a few artists use it, and they turn out beautiful and I love them, is this brown. It's like a, it's called mocha. Um, and actually, this is not made, made by Liquitex. This is one of those craft paints that you get, the cheap ones from Walmart. So... We'll see how it turns out. It's a pretty color. I was thinking about maybe adding a little copper to it because it kind of looks a little flat. But I decided not to get it some texture to the painting. And then the white I'll be using is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This is mixed with... Um, Water and Floetrol, American Floetrol. All right, there I go. I'm going to first fill the bottom of these cups with a substantial amount of white. I think I want to start off with... Uh, Turquoise. So I'm trying to just easily put it down so it so it layers and not sink into the bottom. And I don't want to put a lot. These paints are usually these are a little thinner than what I normally do. I like paints a little thicker so they don't mix so much and turn brown and muddy but I wanted to go a little thicker you know what guys I just realized I forgot to put the silicone thank God I just put one color in got to do that so I'm gonna add them now there's one two one two one two 
One, two. And I'll add it to the strip turquoise now. No biggie. No biggie. Make sure you mix them. A lot of people say when you barely mix it, it causes more uh, um, bigger cells. And the more you mix it, the cells are smaller. I don't know how true that is, but I like to mix mine pretty well. The dog's just so noisy, you can hear him click clacking, playing. You gotta be wherever daddy is. There's a turquoise, one of my favorite colors. There is a time when, when I first started doing pouring, I love blue. And all I would do was blue, blues, blues, blues. I blued myself to death. And now I just kind of expanded my horizons and started messing with colors. And actually my partner got me into the more warm colors, like reds and stuff, because I always I just never were into those colors. I always liked the cool colors. And I'm glad he introduced like pushed me to do it because now I'm obsessed with it. Alright. Next I'm gonna do I'm going to do the copper next to the blue. I love those two colors together. Okay, just easily so it gets layered. Don't want to do too much copper. Copper can take over. So can turquoise, actually. There it goes. Okay, next to copper, I probably want to, I think I'm going to do brown. Here goes brown, more mocha. Man, these paints are really thin, thinner than what I'm used to, but we'll see how it turns out. You don't want to go too high when you pour them in, because if you go high, they will sink into the bottom of the cup. I don't want to do that. the brown. Next I want to do, I think I'm going to go with the gold. Now my favorite gold to use, honestly, and I just can't get enough of it, is Deco Art Americana Gold, 24 karat gold, that's my favorite. But this time I'm just going to do something that's more subtle. I think the Liquitex Basic Gold is a little bit more subtle. I didn't want so much bling on this. I want something really earthy and with a hint of color. If you grip a little bit on your canvas, no big deal because you're just going to flip the paint over that, which will not affect anything. All right, now all I got left is the red oxide. Interesting color. So, yeah. and there's that. Okay, next goes the white. And it's called a sandwich board, so you got to layer the white, and it, it's like a sandwich. Sort of like the white paint is the bread, and the color in the middle is the meats. There is that enough? No. 
Am I gonna have enough weight? I should. Just looking for something really subtle, nothing too. I love color, and usually my paintings are very vibrant and color, colorful. This one, I just want more something more subtle. There's that. All right, now, um, I think that's all I'm gonna do, maybe. Yeah, they're not built all the way up to the top, but I think that's plenty because this is a 12 by 12 gallery wrap canvas. Um, so I think this is a plenty of paint to use for it. And when you uh, stretch out the paint, you want to have enough paint to cover the whole canvas and the sides. All right, I'm going to move this paint out a little bit. Move it over here. And I'm gonna start flipping. Okay, here goes one. I'm gonna start on the top and then drag down after I flip it. There's that. So next one, that one's better. The other one I kind of messed up. And then, bam. Alright, so then you want to let them sit there for a few minutes. Some people poke a hole in them, and it releases the vacuum, and then they start to float. I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want them to travel, because they kind of float and travel a little bit. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is just lift and drag. Pretty fast though. Play the bongos. <laughs> Being silly. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start with this one. Cause I flip this first. Okay. I'm going to cover the corners with the excess because it's always harder to, when you stretch out the paint, the corners are always the hardest to get. Okay, that's one. Oh, I like that one better. I stretched that one out better. Karen from Waterfall Acrylics likes to, she do, you know, she does a flip and kind of like a wreck. She puts a cup, I think she calls it a flip and lip. Pretty cool effect. Gives you different designs. Okay, so right here, see right here there's a bald spot. I think what I want to do is maybe add a little bit more right here. <clears throat> maybe it'll add some interest. Who knows? Is it going to come out? Is there any more? Let me see here. Is there any in here? No. Oh. oh, no biggie. I'll just have to wiggle it. I guess I emptied in pretty well. Alright. Don't want to torch at this point because there's a lot of cells in there. And if I torch, it might add too many cells. I love cells, but uh, not too many of them. 
Now I was going for more. It wasn't this wasn't the kind of look I was going for, and that's okay. Um, this kind of art is unpredictable. I wanted more of a whitish washout over it, but that's fine. This is beautiful. It's very earthy, very, um, you know, southern colors. Can't think of the word right now. But I'm going to start stretching them. See that right there? That's actually closing in with the paint is closing in on it. So <clears throat> I think it's fine. All right, so I'm just going to walk it through. Cover that up. Oh, see, it covered right up. Sorry to stretch it out on you guys like that. Okay. There's that. Back. And over here. Now I'm just dabbing the corners with my finger to get the corners. All right. Now I'm just walking, kind of walking the edge. Right over, see that? Right over. Sorry, I had to tilt it back. It's gonna be out of view for a minute. Tell you what, this red oxide really took over. <clears throat> I see the brown a little bit, not too much. I think I might be done. Tap this corner a little bit. Tap that corner. Yeah, I think I might be done with this, actually. I don't know if I should stretch it out some more. This is a dilemma. It's like, do you stretch more off or do you leave it like it is? I mean, I like it. I think. In this area, there's still a bit too much red, maybe right here too, but I like the white going through. I like the pops of turquoise throughout. I don't really see any brown though. Not a lot of it. Yeah, right over here, some brown right here. Um, maybe a little bit right there. Um, I like it though. It's like a southwestern feel, vibe to it. Should I torch it or not? I think I'm going to torch you guys. Just because uh, it kind of looks flat to me a little bit. Let me wipe my hands. And get my torch. Don't want to torch it too much because you will burn the paint. Right. Okay, there's some stuff happening. There's some cells popping up. I actually like it. I'm going to torch it just a little bit more. Okay, so now where I didn't like all that red, I thought it was kind of 
too much. There's turquoise popping out of it now since I torched it. Now there's some turquoise veins running through. I like it. I kind of like it. You know what I could do? I could give it a little spin just to see if I could stretch out anything. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. See what happens. I'm addicted to the, the Lazy Susan. I love spinning art. I like stretching it too, but... I, you guys, I really am starting to like this even more now. There's so much texture to it. Um, in between, there's like lacing right over here. There's like channels of rivers, of turquoise rivers going through here. Popping up through the red oxide. Very, very beautiful. I love the white going through here with the blue. Um, see the gold. I see some brown. I think the brown was a perfect touch. Not too much. Um, you guys don't be afraid of brown. I was, and I'm starting to dabble with it, and I, it has its purpose. It really does. Look at that, there's brown right there. It adds like almost a shadowing to the colors. It adds depth, the brown does. So don't be afraid of it. Especially with these colors, I think it's a perfect combination. So, let me take you for a close-up, see what y'all think. I think it's really pretty, I really do. See all the cells? And the brown. I love the turquoise, it just pops. It really does. All right, guys. I think I'm done. Thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. I'm new to this. I'm kind of camera shy. I don't like talking on the camera, but I'm going to have to get over that. Um, I appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Even share it on Facebook. Um, much appreciated. Um, I do have my art for sale if you guys are interested. Um, I have some on sale um, on eBay. I have like 10 paintings for sale under DG Fluid Art. I also have a lot of my paintings on Instagram under DG Fluid Art. Check it out if you like anything. Um, email me, um, and we'll go through details. All right, all. You have a good night, and be safe. Bye.